Hello world. So today, obviously, I'm not in my room. I'm downstairs. And you may have heard me talk in the past about my family, but there was one person I forgot to um to mention, and that is Delilah. Delilah, say hi. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see her because I can't flip the camera while I'm recording. But um, Delilah is a Siberian Husky, and we got her um about a year ago. And, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty important that I introduced you to her because she's pretty important. Also, she has an Instagram page because she's a total diva. So, if you guys want to follow that, you can. It's delilah.the.husky. I'll put it in the, um, whatchamacallit, in the description below if I can remember. But, um, yeah, how about we spend some time and talk about Delilah? And see if she'll do anything funny on camera because she's pretty goofy. So, um, like I said, she's a Siberian Husky. She's very goofy. She thinks she's a person. And my mom treats her like a princess. She actually calls her the princess. The first thing mom says when she walks to the door is, Hello, my little princess. I'm like, what about me? She's like, no, Delilah's the princess. I'm like, oh, okay. Well then. So, um... Yeah, she thinks she's a, um, oh, that's not good lighting. Okay. So, um, yeah, she thinks she's an actual human because when everybody's talking and stuff, like, she's, not only does she think she's human, but she's also very protective of her humans because she's actually very friendly, but she's very protective over certain people. So she's especially protective over my mom because my mom treats her like a big baby. So, um, she doesn't want anyone near my mom. Nobody can hug her. Nobody can go anywhere near my mom because then Delilah will try to jump on you. And she has freaking sharp demon dragon claws. So it hurts when she, when she jumps on you. But, um, yeah, she's pretty protective. But she's also very friendly. So when she gets to know you, then she kind of bullies you. But when, when she doesn't know you, then she acts like, like, I can't think of a word, like a minion on... This, that's just been like hyped up on sugar that's pretty much the only way to describe her she has like a minion that's been hyped up on sugar she goes nuts if she sees anyone new she'll literally start jumping on you sniffing you kissing you trying to find out where you were and then she won't leave you alone she'll just try to jump on you some more sniff you she'll follow you but for some reason she doesn't like guys um uh, we heard online that Huskies are like, they act kind of funny when it comes to guys. They don't like their deep voices because Delilah has a pretty deep voice herself. But when it comes to human males, she just doesn't like them. I mean, she doesn't mind my brother because he's younger. But if you have a deep voice, she doesn't like you. Also, if you're tall, she doesn't like you either. Like my uncle came by and he can't move at all. Like if he even flinches a finger, if he does something as simple as this, like that, she'll jump. She'll sit there staring at him, and if he just moves a finger, she'll literally jump backwards and start barking at him. She doesn't want to go anywhere near him. But she acts, but like, but once you get to know her, then she kind of acts like a bully. Like, for example, if you try to go upstairs, she'll literally f come running from the other, from the dining room, and chase after you and try to jump and bark at you so you won't go upstairs. Because that's just how she, she doesn't like being lonely. But she's also extremely smart. So if you say certain words like, Delilah, you want a cracker? Here she comes. You want a cracker? Hi, you want a cracker? I'll be right back. I'll go get, I'll go get her a cracker now. <laughs> well, guys, we're out of crackers. But we have her other favorite, which is peanut butter. She's looking at me. Daddy, you want some peanut butter? You want peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna see if she can do some tricks for you guys. So I'm just gonna stick my finger here. My fingers are very clean, by the way. She loves peanut butter. She's following my finger right now. Let's see if I can move the camera. Okay. Lila. High five. Good girl. Lila, walk in the chilies. Walk in the chilies. Delilah, up, 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 look, up. Good girl.
Thank you. That's a good girl. And now she's expecting more. She's not getting any more because she can't have peanut butter. I mean, she can have peanut butter. She just can't have a lot of peanut butter because apparently peanut butter is high in sugar. Wow, my hair is a mess. Okay. But um, peanut butter is high in sugar, so you're not supposed to give dogs a lot of peanut butter. But yeah, she, she basically, she loves anything that dogs are not supposed to eat. So if you leave, if you drop a piece of garbage, like an eggshell, for example, she'll go to the floor and eat the eggshell. But then if you put her own food in her bowl, she won't eat it. She'll literally just sit there, sniff it, maybe take like one little piece of kibble and then spit it back out and that's it. She won't eat it. If it's anything for her, she won't eat it. But if it's something she's not supposed to have, like peanut butter, she won't eat it. <laughs> Here she comes again. So, um, yeah. She's also pretty playful, right? So, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, I was talking about how smart they are. So, she also knows, um, if she wants to be petted, she'll come over to you and slap you with her paw. It's actually pretty funny, but it gets annoying because her claws are sharp. First, she'll go like this, like very lightly. And then if you ignore her, she'll go like this and like claw your arm off. Like, <laughs> it's pretty funny, but it's annoying at the same time. But, um, yeah. Right, Delilah? You want to say hi again? Or are you just being shy? Don't be shy. You have your own Instagram page. What are you shy about? You're Insta-famous, remember? So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I should talk about. So, I guess you guys are kind of wondering about her origin story. So, basically what happened was, is her mom was found out on the streets. Her mom is really pretty, by the way. She's completely white, and she has blue eyes. She's really pretty. But, um, she... So basically, her um, her mom was found out in the streets, so my mom's friend came and rescued her. Well, I think she's actually my mom's friend's friend. But she came and rescued her, and like took care of her and all that stuff. And then she wound up having puppies, and Delilah was one of them. So since she didn't know what to do with all the puppies, she was just giving them all out for free. So my dad is like, he's slightly, he's, okay, he's OCD. So we had a dog before he wasn't our dog he was my grandma's dog we took care of him for a few years and his name was tango he was pretty much like he was a good dog but he was he sheds a lot so do huskies but he shed a lot and his fur wasn't just like normal fur his fur was like wispy so if a fan would get turned on it would start blowing in the air so he was like desolate we're not having any more pets but guess what we wound up getting a rabbit and a guinea pig and two birds <laughs> but all those animals they passed away so we didn't have an animal well actually we did have a rabbit but he actually passed away last year he was like delilah thought they were best friends but their relationship was um was difficult so <laughs> one day um gumball the name of the rabbit he would be really sweet to delilah and the next day he wouldn't want to be anywhere near her because she would just sit there crying because he would ignore her because she's um pretty much an attention hog but um anyways so my mom saw her um a picture of her and she immediately fell in love with Delilah and so my mom was like you know what if she's not taken by the end of this week then we're gonna get her because that means it was meant to be so guess what she wasn't taken by the end of the week so we got Delilah and that's the story of Delilah's origin and we've had her since she was tiny I remember the first day we got her, I think it was actually the day before Halloween. When we first got her, she was literally scared of any with, of everything. I mean, nothing has really changed, but she's not... She's still a scaredy cat, but not as much. She was scared of her own reflection. Now she's just scared of the vacuum cleaner. And the broom. And the Swiffer. And basically anything, anything that involves a giant stick being connected to something that can touch the floor... Like, like all the things I just mentioned. She's pretty much scared of pretty much anything. But for some reason, she's not scared of the lawnmower. We have no idea, right? We have no idea why. But, um, 
I guess that's it for this video. I know I haven't posted in a long time, but sometimes I just have nothing to talk about because my life is boring. And my life is also very busy. So I try to make as many videos as I can. I also try to post them on the weekend. But if I have time during the week, then I'll try to post them during the week. But, um, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video or if you just like Huskies. Or if you just like Delilah. And I will try to remember to put her uh, Instagram page in the description below. By the way, I also have an Instagram page. So, I mean, there's no pictures on it, but you guys can still follow me anyways if you want. Because, I mean, you don't have to. Because there's literally nothing on there. Because I have nothing to post. So if you guys want, you can just leave some comments down below and tell me what you want me to post on there because I literally have no ideas. It used to just be a spam page for my middle schooler self. And then I went back on there and I was like, ooh, these memes are kind of cringe. So I just deleted everything and now it's just empty. So let me know you got, what you guys want to see in the future. And goodbye world.